Hey guys, DBG Fishing. Uh, wanted to make a quick video for some of you guys that do your own um, tubes. Uh, tube jigs here in Utah are a big part of fishing for me, for smallmouth, for trout, uh, ice fishing, soft water, you name it. We use a ton of tubes. I make a ton of tubes and I wanted to build something uh, in conjunction with my Angling AI tail cutter. And uh, hopefully, I don't know, I think it's pretty badass. And I ran across this, uh, I actually don't know how I ran across this. I know there's some chatter online about uh, some different cutters and stuff that people are trying to use. I mean, I ran across this little uh, drill press uh, online and I think it's fantastic. I think it'll help you guys. I'm gonna flip the camera around here. I'm gonna show you exactly what it is and I'll put a link in the description below uh, where you can pick this up and how you can rig it up. So let me just turn this around real quick. All right, so the bench is a little bit of a mess, guys, but uh, essentially this is the uh, this is my tail cutter. I've taken uh, the Engley AI tail cutter, obviously with the razor blades. Uh, had to use a little bit of duct tape in here to act as like a shim. You could use pretty much whatever you want, but you want that uh, really tight. And then you've got this. Uh, this is designed to hold a hand drill inside the clamp here, um, and then you can use it to drill holes. Well, I've used it as a, as a way to cut um, my tube tails. And uh, it's worked out really, really good. I'm still kind of tinkering around with the different heights and stuff. I know I need to go a little bit higher um, than it is right now. But um, yeah, I'll set this up and I'll show you guys exactly how it works. All right, guys, we'll keep this short and sweet, really simple. I'll show you what I like to do. I like to get my tubes. Put them in my hand, I like to get a little bit of uh, worm oil. Get them lubed up, get them rolled up real nice. And uh, this just helps the, helps the tails separate once you get them cut, all right? All we do is uh, put them up underneath the cutter, press down, lift up. I like to do a one pull up, one pull down, and uh, there you go, tails cut. And you can rotate, you know, you, you still wanna be careful um, you know, these are razor blades, keep your fingers in the wrong place and, uh, they'll get you, but it works amazing. And, you know, you can, you can blow through a bunch of tubes pretty quick. I'm using a, uh, a silicone mat here on top of just a wood plank. And I'm going to, I'm going to modify this. I just got this, but I just wanted to do a video because I think it's I think it's super sick. I mean, it cuts them perfect. It cuts them quickly. And uh, I know a lot of guys out there are always looking for for another little toy that you can that you can do. You know, assemble together to make uh, life easier here making baits. And and this is definitely one of them. I'm very happy with this. I'll use this for years to come. Uh, you still need the, you know, your angling AI tail cutter, but you could sit back in a chair and just relax and do this. Um, as opposed to, you know, setting it down on the bench and, and beating away with a, beating away on a hammer or whatnot. You know, if you're doing small batch stuff, it's probably not that big of a deal for you, but Someone that doesn't want to spend the money and modify like a hydraulic press. I've seen a lot of guys modify, you know, that type of deal. Then this is right up your alley. And anyway, yeah, that's it, guys. Um, you can see how quickly you can you can really blow through these tubes. And, and like I say, I'll put a link below. To this thing i bought it on amazon it was only like 30 dollars which is for me is worth every penny look at that. i mean look how quick we're going through these and uh this is just a this is the new dead on plastic color if you're wondering just the blue craw it's a pretty dope little color i will tell you just uh if you haven't done the blue craw thing yet i think the most important thing with this color is to not oversaturate it I see a lot of guys oversaturating this color, and uh, I think it it takes away it definitely takes away from the effect. It still makes a cool color, 
but you don't get that blue craw uh, effect in the in the thinner pieces as well if you oversaturate your mix so you know play around with it a little bit but um, definitely definitely don't oversaturate too much I still haven't messed around with any color shift in this but anyway I'm getting off on a tangent the whole reason I want to make this is for this tail cutter so anyway that's it guys I mean you can see the pile I got done and we've been doing this for about three and a half minutes so um, nonetheless uh, you guys thanks for watching appreciate everybody if you could drop a like uh, subscribe to the channel I'm trying to get to a thousand I know I'm only at like a hundred and something but uh, every little bit helps and I appreciate you guys you all have a great weekend and uh, we'll see you on the next video peace